melting, some of them. Uh, it was a really uh, hot day yesterday and a much more uh, temperate climate now and a much more uh, pleasant for the girls to play a final. Uh, and we're uh, in the first time. A great example of Indigenous talent uh, coming from uh, a remote community uh, in Northern Territory, Borroloola. Before, you know, really strong left foot. And this little player here on the ball now, yeah, really, really good little player. Loves the ball, you know, wants the ball at her feet. Already really enjoying seeing her play. That sees them, signs off on what is going to be done. You know, in each uh, you know, words to say, and it'll be interesting to see how the setup is. Sorry, eight minutes to go. Mate, maths wasn't my best. And besides, when they're digital clocks, it's even worse. I need the old analog ones. But yeah, look, we've got eight minutes to go, playing 40-minute halves in the final. Is in your favour. And so she keeps taking him on, taking him on. There's a beautiful ball inside there. She's, she's really been a pleasure to watch. Uh, this this left hand side here and for the uh, Morton Bay Sports Complex where we're holding the final of the women's component of the Australian Indigenous Football Championships. My name is Bruce Stoddard, I'm the CEO of Football Ent uh, in the world. Um, we have a very rich culture here which we, we haven't yet fully um, educated ourselves on. Um, but um, through, you know, stopped, stopped for a week to, to say, hey, okay, what is this jersey? What's it about? You know, what, what does it mean? Um, so uh, it's been very um, heartwarming for, for the Indigenous, uh, you know, this uh, concept take off um, and in future sales um, in NARA, so and, uh, and of course, uh, you know, Jade North, uh, who's a massive advocate for the game. and uh, To show all the skills they've got, we have a breakaway on the, the right flank, which is the broadcast side in the second half. And um, again, nice skills from number 16. Look at that. Yep, straight over. But it was a lovely follow-up by young Mika number 16 so she was on the left you know we're waxing lyrical about her performance in the first half and they've swapped it to the right i think the coach here probably wants her in front of us you know so we can see the skills you know and enjoy so my thanks to mickey hugo there for putting her on this side because she's just fabulous to watch and already in this half you know getting the ball to, uh, going past people head up good passes inside really i mean she, she's so young this player here on the ball and it was nice to see her get a get a goal there at the far post following nicely as every good player does as soon as a shot comes in you know whether it's from Ramon close or otherwise you know you're always following that in you know and uh, and there's really great work from her she's been a real highlight of this game at defenders uh, so very nice to see these two young wingers for Malian's huge futures you know both of them very very positive to see I was just uh, talking about on the left hand side of the beautiful play and uh, a yellow card this afternoon we might have had one but played in a you know tremendous competitiveness but really a, a great spirit as well opportunities on the pitch as well as off the pitch uh, you know it's a it's a great uh, career uh, in terms of refing and, and staying in the game um, even uh, achieving uh, you know a professional career out of its final for the women and congratulations to the uh, Malians comprehensive winner 6-0 in a, a game in which they dominated and bossed from the beginning. We saw some excellent wing play from uh, Kimmy and uh, number 16 on this side. I'm sorry, I forget, I forget your first name, my fault, but you're just exceptional in both halves and the way you came down those wings. In fact, as, as far as I said, there was very little play up the middle. They just used those wings and the speed they have and they come away with six goals.